Known for the ability to strip trees clean of leaves, LDD or spongy moths, formerly known as gypsy moths, could once again be back in Ontario in a major way. Last year, the caterpillars caused record defoliation across the province. But right now in Toronto, work is underway to minimize the spread and protect our local tree canopy. Travel around parts of Toronto, you'll see these silk-like sacks attached to trees. Homes to Lamantria dispar dispar, or LDD moths for short. Look a little closer though, you'll also see remains of past insects. These moths, munch through leaves, can leave a mess in the wake and spread quickly. Some of the caterpillars can even be carried by a big gust of wind thanks to being covered in tiny hairs. It's moving into areas of the city that, that haven't been sprayed before, haven't really seen this volume of of LDD moss in the past. City of Toronto Forestry Inspector Joel Harrison Off is out at Lescon Park near Leslie and Shepherd, surveying an infestation. This tree, uh, for whatever reason, uh, a lot of moth activity most likely and a lot of eggs have been laid all over this tree. And, and theoretically, each one of these egg masses could have 500, even up to 1,000 caterpillars hatch. This park, one of 27 public and private areas across the city, set to be sprayed sometime between mid-May and mid-June by helicopter. In a matter of minutes, one of two choppers will spray a natural bacteria on trees that affects young caterpillars. Officials say it doesn't affect other mammals or birds. In High Park, an even more specialized virus that only affects LDD moths is being used since the area is environmentally sensitive. The virus naturally moves through the LDD population in a multi-year cycle, causing it to collapse. It really doesn't have many uh, enemies or predators that will affect the population, and it can run pretty rampant. The problem isn't just a Toronto one either. David Dekavich at the Invasive Species Centre says throughout the past few years, Southern Ontario has been hit hard. In 2021, uh, there was 1.77 million hectares of defoliation. A size equivalent to some small countries. As for this year, he says government moth forecasts show moderate to severe tree defoliation in many areas. In the GTA though, not as bad as others. If you see the eggs on your tree, it's not too late to take action to help rein in the moths. Dekavich says burlap tape to trees can help catch those, but right now, you can. You can use like a hand scraper or a butter knife and, and put them into either a, a cup or bucket or or even a water bottle of uh, soapy water solution and leave them in there for about 72 hours. Meanwhile, the City of Toronto is holding a virtual information session this evening for more on its aerial spraying program. For more information on that, go to our website, citynews.ca. In Toronto for City News, I'm Nick Westall.